Welcome! Welcome back! Um, So, all right, the robot, the Death Elf, and the Sasquatch are in jail. Sort of. They've been captured by um, who it? Who is? I think I know what he is, but uh, he's kind of turned out to be the uh, work police chief. Cool. And some corralled. Look, what looks like just like regular civilian type goblins. Yep. Somehow been uh, talked or forced into. Guarding doing the shit. these prisoners. Um, um, so, Harriet, give me. Uh, you, you want to roll one of these these d twenties? It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, d twenty roll. Roll first. Roll me a strength check. So roll roll the d twenty. Eight. Eight plus your strength modifier. Which one is that? It's the four. Okay. That's the one in the white. So twelve. So twelve. Okay. So you begin, and you have a lot of time to do this. So okay. the DC is not really high. The, dif the dif difficulty class. Okay. So DC stands for. The, it's it's not very high. So you're just kind of sitting there. You're not making any noise. You're just uh, or like not too much noise. You're kind of working the binding. And you manage to get the ones on your hands, at least, loose enough that you can, when you need to, very easily pull out of it. Mm -hmm. But you keep it, um, you keep it in, in appearances as though you're still bound. Um, give me a, give me one more strength check. <laughs> Can you reach it? Nope. I got it. I'll grab it for you. Thank you. Thirteen. Seventeen. Plus four. Seventeen. Nice. Um, again, you got all day to do this. So you also managed to work your leg bindings uh, as well. So it's kind of a situation where when it comes to it, you can burst forth and whatever you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, back to the rest of the folks. Where did my... I'll have the calendar at home. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. It'll be alright. It's a certain day of the 10 day week of this oh, month. Yeah. And what year is it? 1515. What year is it? I'm sorry. It? 5115. 5150. 15. 5115. Oh. Five, five. Mm -hmm. Cool. 15. It is the fifth age, but that's not wildly relevant as of right now. Anyway, you, your group, has a successful long rest in this house of trees, and you continue your way to Isarod. The travel to that place takes about another three or four days. Okay. Which is why you have plenty of time to get out. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. We'll say three days to... Because you don't really have anything else to do uh, other than walk to that town. So nice and leisurely hike. It's not. With uh, it doesn't lots of take an absurd amount of time to get there. Now, <clears throat> when you arrive, when you're walking into the sort of town itself, it is about, we'll say, 10 o'clock or so in the morning. What would you like to do? Ruskin's coffee shop. This town is of a size and location that it does have a Sven's coffee shop. I'd like to go there and buy my chef's utensils back. Okay. I'm a basin. Huh? I'll go basin. I think we'll all go. Okay. 
Um, the curious thing about Sven's Coffee Shop is, one, the shop itself does not appear to be very large when you approach it. Small little hovel or um, building? It doesn't look like a hovel, per se, but it doesn't look like it would be large enough to house... It's like as big as a barber shop? A full shop, yeah. It looks like it's it as looks, big as a barber shop. The building is small enough like a barber shop. Yeah. Um, that but... It's, <laughs> but when you walk into it, it is massive. Uh, to quote Doctor Who, it's bigger on the inside. And there's rows and rows of things. Just like, shelves of shiny, yeah, shiny, um, shiny stuff. There's a potion aisle that has all kinds of potions. There, um, and there's glass there cases are, there everywhere. There are a few people walking around in the shop. Um, sitting or stand, uh, standing, I guess I should say, standing behind the counter where all the draka and such are counted and kept and all that is a mouth or cat person. Now, this particular one is very clearly of noble blood. Super kitty looking. Because it looks like... It's actually a cat. A cat. Yeah, there's not like just the ears or just the eyes. It's full on fur, cat face. Full on Hermione. Hermione from the botched Polyjuice Potion. Yeah, cat, cat person. He, he of course welcomes you all here. Hello. My name is Khajiit. Of course it is. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. We're going to get taken off the internet for that one. Hmm? Oh, oh yeah. Take it off the internet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's not his race. It's his name. It's different. No, it's not the race. It's the line. I don't think I'm I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. No one's watching. <laughs> <It's> rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, rude. But we have someone on chat. What they say? Huh? Your one viewer is yep. here tonight. What does that say? I can't see it. The insert prince. Hello. Dear, dear. Oh, so, hey, Brandon. Glad he's here. Yes, I'm indeed. Gonna, I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm gonna buy my utensils. Utensils. Whose jacket is this over here? Chef utensils. Fork. Mine. Mine. Chef. Chef utensils. Okay. Yes. I'm chef. Oh <laughs> yeah. Can't you see by my uniform? Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You're, You're dirty up, you Chef Whites. Yeah. You are arcane chef. Yeah. Yes. Uh, your. What all do you need? A full utensil set. Uh. Does or that did I lid. did I list a price nope. for those? Sure did. Cool beans. Well, so you need a a, a fork, a big old fork. Big old fork, lid, um, frying pan, similar to similar to shield stuff. Cleaver, mixing spoon, steak knife. A little less. Four items, mm -hmm. um, which are large and. That. Everything okay? Oh, hey, Eli. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Um, Awkward silence. <laughs> Awkward silence, yes. That will be for all of those 20 white drachas. How much is white? <laughs> 20 gold, basically. Gold pieces. What you, we started 20 gold. One. Okay. I'm cool with that. We all had one. I forgot what color this was. That what you gave us? Yeah. Can I see the DMG? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. To see if there's anything I actually want. And my copy of the first. Oh, of course. <laughs> cool. So I got, my, sure I got my shit back. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> back in business. Your food is on. Unspoiled and such. Wait, how long does that last? Like two days, so it's probably okay. spoiled. Well, oh, well. By now, we'll say that you have eaten it. Yeah. Kind of along the way. Uh, by the way, because you have an arcane chef, um, you you all eat very well along your way. Every single time. Because he's an amazing cook. Whoop. Indeed. Um. You know, by the way, something else that, that you all know, 
um, is that Sven is uh, hasn't been seen at, at Sven's coffee shop in a good while. Probably a century. No, it's been less than that. Because yeah. uh, it's been about a century since the last time. But it's probably been about 20 years since Sven has been seen manning his own shop. Let's see. Uh, is, is that all you need? Yeah, I'm good for now. I would be interested in a few items. Yes. Do you have a bag of holding? I would assume so. Uh, we do. I'm trying to... What, what, what level? Uh, what kind of item is that? It's uncommon. Is it right there? Yeah, you have the book. Uncommon. I don't have that table on me. Um, it's in the DMG? Table. I have a table for Spence Coffee Shop to see if it has the item that you're looking for based on the item's rarity. But, you can find it. I do. Or we do. How much does one cost? Uncommon? Mm -hmm. Five hundred white truck. Thank you. These are ultimate price range. Um. Yeah, we we need to do a mission first. I could use the healing potion actually. Oh, I'll yes. buy I'll buy one regular healing potion. Those are fifty gold, right? Yes. 50 white. Burt 50 white. Yes. Yes. I, I will also take one. I'm, I'm going to buy one regular healing potion. Okay. I'm doing the same. That is a little... No. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, regular healing potions are 50. Yes. Yeah, 50 the next one up is a... Like five hundred. The next one up is one fifty. One fifty. Yeah, that's all my money. Uh, it heals ten hit points. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's just the roll maximized. Yeah. First one is. It's two d four plus two technically. Yeah. But okay. I don't like randomized healing stuff uh, as far as potions go. I think that magical healing potions are more stable than that. Quality. Pretty uh, Yeah, so they heal their maximum value. Like, one that's worth maybe 20 gold, if you'd roll it. <laughs> Just that would be ma make it possible. Yeah. Like if well, somebody makes one. 20, uh, the 20 hit point one is the greater healing potion. No, no, no. It would cost 20 white draka. And oh, it would, like it would be like 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. yeah, none of the potions you buy from Sven's Coffee Shop are shoddy. You yeah. can't read the chat. They don't sell that bullshit. Oh, let me pull it up. Fighter. Fighter. <laughs> I mean, I am beautiful, but... <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. It, it takes a lot. Super confused. Uh, just in general? <laughs> a fight against the merchant. I don't think we're gonna fight. Jesus, yeah. Brandon. I'm not gonna fight the <laughs> Pardon me. Kaji. Um... Yeah. Um, uh... You wouldn't have to roll for this to see this. Uh, a, a couple of interesting things within Sven's Coffee Shop. Um, one is that, like, walking into the shop, it, this wasn't evident, but walking out of the shop, like, looking out of the shop, uh, there are two things you notice. One is that there's a kind of barrier, like a magical You can see magical uh, gooiness. Gooiness. I can see magical to go. Magical gooiness. Wow. I, I don't even know. That's messed up. That's what Finn sees. Magical that. goo. Um, the head's out, and like there's a panel to the left of the door that... Um, it's got lights on it, and they're blinking, and some it buttons. It almost looks like a, like a fuse box kind of door. Mm -hmm. like it's closed and locked. Oh, yeah. You can't see inside. Is there, is there like one light on it or something? No. Cool. You, you don't see any light. But there's a box right by the door. Yes. 
Um, there are. It's probably tamper proof. Just guess. There are display cases, um, like glass. All throughout glass the place, display right? Cases that show uh, some weapons. Oh, should we go pull eyes? And they have a glints um, all over them that look magical. You can see that <laughs> We're gonna they are coming back to life. that they are magically you know, protected. Yeah. yeah. So like some of them, you know, are weapons of legend. Like you see the Doomslayer weapons. Sword. Or a Whoa, doom what? You see the Doomslayer store? weapons. Oh yeah. They are on display in the store. There's like a. It's a display. It's a display. <laughs> it's just a display. Like. Is you there a bear holding a great sword? <laughs> No, it it's all behind glass cases. Yeah. Um, you can see also like in that area, hanging from the ceiling, are these uh, constantly rotating and pivoting um, constructs, like crossbow ballistas that have barrel drum <laughs> ammunition <laughs> holders. Yeah. Something like, made by like, Evander before his death. Like a bunch of. With like yeah. a shit ton of Stamp. crossbows in it, yeah, and you—you you never seen it be fired, but you don't want to see it. Be no, fired. no, no. This is heavy duty defense uh, because ain't nobody touching that. Smith's Coffee Shop is arguably the safest place to store anything because Sven is a god. <laughs> He's um, now a god. He can have whatever his, he wants. His, Sven is really knowledge the god of technology. Are the tales of his first disciple Inch? <laughs> <laughs> you really weren't his first People disciple. know he his first of Imch. <laughs> uh, yes. In no small part due to Eisenschmidt's tales. S continuing tales, which are still going today. Yeah. He's young. Really young. Alright. So you've shot. For Dark Elf. You got or a couple Death potions, Elf. which is a smart idea, especially at level one. Mm -hmm. I am with Wait, you. We all got one? No, I didn't. Do we have a short rest? Uh, I had a long rest. Long. You had several days to get here. Can we have a short rest while we're here? Uh, you want to switch into the shit? No, I want to make my, my shit, but I can't make it until I Until you rest. get a short rest. That's up to you guys. Well then, since we go to Spence Coffee Shop, I guess we can go mm -hmm. camp outside again. Okay, we'll have a short rest and then we'll take off? Sure. And you know that this particular job pays 500, draka. 500 white draka. Hey, that's enough to get the uh, bag of holding. It is, if you wanted to use... <laughs> if that's the only thing we do yeah, with it. <laughs> if you wanted to use your, uh, to like put it into party funds, if you wanted to start a party fund, that's up to you guys. I'm just going to dish it out. You can distribute it as you will. Uh, this is the starting point of where the disappearances have been. So it's a good place to gather information. There are a number of places to do that. Um, Sven's Coffee Shop can be one of those, depending upon what you ask, if you ask anything. Are there people here? Uh, there are some people kind of drifting through the aisles. Um, not a lot of people can afford to shop at Sven's Coffee Shop. Indeed. So there is a sort of general store that just has things like rope and it's not Sven's coffee shop. Box and yeah, it's not anything like that. Sven's coffee shop specializes in magical items. And he probably purposely doesn't have anything they sell. Yes, keeps the riffraff out. Well, he just doesn't well, have any of the general. He doesn't things. want to take away from the other little other businesses. businesses. <laughs> so. He's just got all the stuff. Like yeah. the really nice stuff. If you need it, it is there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Melanie, we're off camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a kitty cat. Uh, Harriet. Oh, we're on camera. Like, several what more days one? have passed. Um, you're not fed much. Really. But you begin to pick up on some patterns within this area. <clears throat> At night, or what you can only assume at night, there are fewer guards around. So it's typically around eight to kind of pass through and you know, to and from. Right. Um, at night, it's more like 
four. So it, it's about half of what it was. Sort of skeleton crew. Um, they kind of assume that given that you've been captured and you're bound, <laughs> you're not going to do much anything right now. They do seem to be preparing for something, but <laughs> it's unclear as to what that is. Graydon is... He great. knows where those cameras he are. He does. he does. He loves to sit in front of cameras. Lindsay's getting a kick out of it. That, that's fine. Right? Oh yeah, it's, it's great. It's, um, it's Graydon. If you were to plan an escape, and you kind of whisper with your comrades, which I'll Nighttime will be the best chance to do that. Mm -hmm. And you can just try to sneak away. You can kind of rush the couple of goblins that are there and try to kill them quickly. Uh, you have a few options there. If you wish to pursue that. Turn to you guys. At this point, you've been sh you, you you went shopping, which probably didn't take a long time, maybe half an hour at the most. Um, you are so it's about ten thirty ish. What would you like to do? Um, do I see any like people out in the streets begging for coin or? Uh, like, or anyone performing like, like beggars? Yeah. Um, like, like if there's anybody you just like playing music. Give me a perception check. Let's go well. So he rolls yeah. d twenty. Seventeen. And he adds his perception. I don't have a bonus to that. Don't 17. have a bonus. Got it. Please don't break. Seventeen. <coughs> okay. Um, you see, now again, this is not a large, like city, per se. It's kind we're of a. We're just trying to see if there's anybody out performing for the right. It's a town that has reached its size because it is between, it's kind of on the path between like Dragon's Crescent City on the lake and the port city of Alayakar, right? So it's kind of a, a pass-through city where people s s stay at inns. There's a lot of inns and stuff like that. Um, you do hear music coming from several of the inns. So you know that they have bards here and there. And there is, on one of the corners, as you're kind of just walking through the town, there is an individual who is uh, kind of, he's doing street magic type stuff. He's performing. I'm going to walk up to him. He is a... He's a halfling, and he is, uh, you can tell from your, like, based on your background, you can tell that he has been uh, pickpocketing mm -hmm. as, as he goes. So you say your portrait? Yep. Okay. He's gonna, is there a crowd gathered around him? Or? He has a little bit of a crowd, yeah. Do you divert from us two? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just okay. ambling around. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know what to do my, with myself. I know, personally, like, what we should do in a detect detective situation, but Finn has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Finn's going to kind of tag along? I mean, Finn is just following anyone he finds, and is their best friend. Uh, <laughs> just helping out. I'll literally do most things you ask him to. So... So, f hang on. I, so, all right, uh, I'll just tell you the the so flaw like, that Finn, everyone can see immediately. Blind trust. That's really funny. So, <laughs> so, so like Finn's like walking down the street and he sees like this old man trying to trying to set up his cart or something. Mm -hmm. and, and oh, I was like, here, you like pick up the whole yeah, thing, just like go to help <laughs> him. And it just takes like a second. Yeah, how about the guy. That's really that, that that's that's very interesting to me. 
people appreciate that. Yeah, well, I should, I'm just saying. You start, like, people start noticing that you're doing that, and they're like, hey, I need help doing this. Blah, yeah, well, blah. I don't drag too far behind. Right. Like, I. What? You end up making, like, 10 white Draka. Sweet. Uh, just because people, like, tip you for helping them out. Cool. 10. Uh, Draka. yeah. Um, we're out of time. We are out of time. Very good. See you right now. Back.